All right, welcome into the show, Creative Crypto here. And I am back, guys. I'm back on the channel. I finally got my YouTube channel back from all the strikes, from the trolls, from the jealous haters in this space that just can't stand to see my success and see me helping others make money. They want to strike my channel and put fake copyright strikes against my videos for no reason other than they are jealous and trolls. So I'm rising above that. I am back. I am here. I'm going to continue to fight to be able to share with you guys great projects and great gems and great ways to make money here in this cryptocurrency space. So quickly, before we get into this, Octree, the most underrated finance yield farming project in this space, I want to share with you guys how you can stay in contact with me in case this happens again so you don't get caught off guard, you don't get caught in the dark, and you don't have to wonder what happened to my channel. So first thing you're going to want to do is bookmark this Odyssey page. I have the link in the description. Odyssey, this is a creative crypto channel. I posted all the old videos here for you guys to take a look at if you'd like to follow the journey. You can see some of the old videos and see the old success. And if you want to as well, click on this about section. You'll get to the Telegram group, Creative Crypto Media. That's another way to stay in contact because I'll always post the videos there whether I'm posting on Odyssey or YouTube. Hopefully I can post on both and I don't have to just post on one. But in the future, if you want to stay up to date and always be updated on what's going on, follow the Telegram, bookmark this Odyssey channel in case there's any more funny business with YouTube. This is it right here, guys. If you're on Telegram, Creative Crypto Media, stay up to date with all the latest Binance Smart Chain, DeFi gems, yield farming, passive income, and charting technical analysis. So I'll post all my videos there. I'll also post different new coins that I find and different things that I think are worth your time to view. So definitely subscribe to this. Bookmark the Odyssey channel so you can always find my content and we don't have to be left in the dark in case the haters and the trolls keep coming after me and just keep trying to silence me because I'm sharing too much good information. I'm sharing too much secret information that they don't want out. I don't want this stuff to the general public. So if you want to be informed, make sure you follow. Make sure you follow this and bookmark these channels. Otherwise, you will not get this information. Okay, back to the topic at hand. Octree Finance, the most underrated finance smart chain yield farming on the market. Why is that so? Because, guys, I've been in this for a very long time. If you guys have been following the channel, you know that I got into Octree when it first launched on PancakeSwap at $20 a token. Okay, and we're now up to $500. That's well over a 20x. And that's what I continue to provide here for you guys. Projects that can not just 1 or 2x, but 10 to 20x. That's what we're looking for. So what they have is big aspirations. They're going to come out with a treasury, liquidity, their own swap, yield farming, and a DEX aggregator. This is all happening Right now, they just have one feature, which is Oak Mining. If you're in Oak Mining version 1, you need to migrate your tokens by May 3rd. Otherwise, you're not going to get any type of rewards. Okay, so make sure you migrate those over. The only way you can migrate them over is you just have to remove them from this pool and then remove the liquidity from PancakeSwap. So that means you're going to get back your Octree tokens and your Binance coin that you have paired. And then you're going to need to add that to version 2 liquidity. You just need to make sure that you click version 2. They have all the steps laid out for you. It's just four steps right there. And then once you have the version 2 liquidity tokens, you're going to come over here to version 2 mining, and you're going to deposit those into here, and you'll earn the same thing that you earned in version 1, which is Oak. So that's what I really like about Octree is they don't dilute their main token, the Octree token. It only gets earned by Oak tokens through their mining at the moment and oak has a very low supply of only 50,000 oak tokens and only 50,000 can be mined so once the mining is up that is it and we'll have to see what they do in the future with different tokens but right now this is the most sustainable thing i know many of you experienced binance smart chain yield farmers will know that not everything is this stable not everything stays this stable and Octree and Oak has stayed relatively stable with Binance Coin. When Binance Coin goes up, this goes up. When Binance Coin goes down, this goes down. But the main thing is it stays stable and very, very sustainable from what I can see. Now, of course, past performance does not equal future results, but there's so much coming for this project 
that you guys really need to stay informed. Okay, the DEX aggregator. This is going to be like a better version of one inch. It will provide you much more options, much more exchanges, and even arbitrage opportunities to make money. Not just swap your tokens, but actually make a profit doing those swaps. And this is all coming in the forefront for Octree as well as our new games. Okay, make sure you follow the Octree Telegram channel. Stay up to date, the Octree News. Let's go over it real quick on their latest news. This is it here, the Octree News channel. Okay, let's go over some of the latest news. They have their own YouTube channel now. So very good stuff with Octree. They're always expanding. Okay, they're big into charity. They're big into charity, planting trees, forest preservation, big, big stuff. And I like to see platforms and companies in the crypto space that like to give back especially to the environment because as you know mining especially different algorithmic mining takes up a lot of energy so to give back you can definitely help out and help grow more trees that's octree's vision here okay so what they have done is they've hired some new devs and they're working a lot through this process you can see here are the updates dex aggregator version 2 big updates new features you will be surprised that is 70 percent ready that's this aggregator here with the arbitrage opportunities. To use this in the future, you're going to have to hold a certain amount of Octree tokens in your wallet to be able to use this feature. So that's coming, 70% ready. Their charity program, charity page, great stuff. Proof of all of that coming as well. Planting trees, their swap, 70% ready. That means they're going to have their own decentralized swap, like Pancake Swap, like some other swaps out there, and they're going to have their own liquidity, and that means that they'll even be even bigger than they are now because they'll be on the radar of all these other listings and things where people can list their tokens and to earn liquidity and yield farming from their swap. So that's huge. Their dice game's going to get revamped there. A secret contest that was already done as well. And their treasury, 80% ready. That's going to launch and start earning money. With all these updates, this is what they're doing, guys. So it's looking really great. That's their contest. They had a hollow contest. And this is, to me, this is really interesting as well. This is their soccer team. It's a real soccer team with the real Octree logo. These guys have sponsored a team. And they had a victory, 10-5, to 5, epic game. Really cool stuff, guys. This is a real project. These are real people. And this is something that is going to be here for the long term. This isn't just a fly-by-night pump and dump. This is something that is going to be here to compete in this Binance Smart Chain space for a very, very long time. So if you're in Octree, if you're not in Octree, getting in here and doing some yield farming because it is the most stable and underrated yield farming project right now in this space because it's basically just printing me free money every single day. And so what I do is some days I take the oak and convert it to Octree. Sometimes I convert it to BUSD to hedge. It just depends on where I think the market's going, where I think the Binance coin price is going because this is heavily correlated to the BNB coin price, and which is good because when the BNB coin price goes up, this goes up. So sometimes it goes up even more than that. Okay, guys, so just a quick updates here for Octree. I wanted to let you guys know I'm still around. I'm still following this space tremendously. And this is really the first project here that had that burn instant yield generation. We have all these other clones come out these other clones that try to copy this, but Octree was the original, and these guys are going absolutely strong here in this space. So quickly, before we end this video, I wanna jump into some other projects while I have time, and just kinda of recap what this channel is all about, if this is the first time you've seen one of these videos on this channel, because this will actually be the first video on this YouTube channel because of some issues I've had. So of course, follow the new library channel here on Odyssey. You can definitely stay up to date with that. So I want to show you a little thing from this video here. DeFi is the new golden era of finance. This video was one of the first videos I posted on this Creative Crypto YouTube channel back in February. I was talking about how DeFi Pulse for the Ethereum dApps had about 40 billion locked in liquidity. And at the time, Binance Coin was about at one or two billion. And I said we can easily see them reach the $40 billion mark, if not pass the Ethereum. Because Ethereum, the fees are so astronomical, it is not profitable. I don't care how much you are making DeFi farming on Ethereum, 
you are paying so much in gas that you don't need to pay. Okay, you can do the same type of yield farming on the Binance Smart Chain and save all that money. Okay, so we go over here, DeFi Station. This is with Binance. 46 billion, guys. Like I said, when I made the video, it was about at 1, 2 billion. Okay, over here. Now, as well as the Binance coin price. You can see the Binance coin price was at $130 at the time I made this video. All right, so this was about February 15th, around there. And it has since gone up to $600, guys. This is what I've been trying to share with you guys. I get in these things early. People try to silence me because they don't want this information out. They don't want you guys to be rich, but I want you guys to be rich with me. And so that's why I'm trying to help you get into these things early. Just like we got into Octree early. This was my first video on Octree. I was the first person on YouTube to sh make an Octree video. Nobody had heard of Octree. Nobody had any idea what this was. Okay, $20 a token at the time. I told you, look at to go up to $500 or more. Well, guess what? We're at $500 today. And it's been up as high as $600 and it continues to climb upwards. That's a 20X right there. All right. Also, BNB coin price. I do the technical analysis on that with the charts. I told you guys we found some resistance here at this orange line in this video. We're going to find some support right here. And once we could test this again and find support above this orange line, we could go much, much higher. And of course, what happened to the Binance coin price? This is the chart back there. Okay, this is the one from here. So you can see we found some support, found resistance again, found some support. And then once we broke out and found support above this orange line, this was the time to go long or buy BNB. And what happened? We pumped up all the way past, blew through this line. We found resistance at this red line for another higher high, and then a higher low, lower high, higher low, then another higher high. And now we found a little bit of support above this red line. Now, this bar trend that I have here has us hitting about 13, 1400 in June of this year. I can definitely see that playing out. So this has us consolidating for a little bit here, maybe going back down to as low as 500 before skyrocketing up to about $1,300, $1,400. Okay, so I can definitely see that happening in this time frame. Also, I shared with you guys this bar trend pattern on this line chart right here. BNB was at $212. This is from the same Octree video. Not only do I give you a gem of Octree in the video, but I gave you some great advice and technical analysis on BNB because BNB, this was basically the bottom right there. It went a little bit lower to about 195, but now it's shot up to $619. Now we followed this bar trend a little bit there and then we fell off a little there, but look, we had the huge spike just a little bit later than expected, which is the way these bar trend patterns work at times. They're not always going to be hundred percent accurate, but they do provide a, way to see where the market can go and we're consolidating right now we're in this consolidation phase for one more leg up we're going to have that one more leg up just like this really good stuff guys i try to provide value when i can this is what the people and these haters and these trolls they don't want this information out they don't want you to know this stuff they don't want you to learn this they don't want you to get in this early that's why they silence my channel that's why they strike my channel down so Make sure you take control of your finance. Follow me on Telegram, the Creative Crypto Media channel. Bookmark this Odyssey channel or subscribe as well because YouTube, there's no telling when the next time is going to happen. I try to get my channel back, guys, but if it does happen again, it takes up to two or three weeks, even longer, and there's no guarantee that I get it back. I got lucky this time and got it back, but there's no guarantee moving forward. So if you want to keep learning this stuff, and I'm going to make money either way. I'm going to make money with or without a YouTube channel. There are YouTubers right now that can only make money with their YouTube channel because they do sponsored ads, they do sponsored videos, they get in these pump and dump coins, and they get tons of referral commissions. I don't. I get in this to share with you guys how you can make money without having to do all of that, without having to be a YouTuber, without having to get a bunch of referrals. You can do it, and this is how you can do this. So I share with you guys exactly what I'm doing. And there's even more things that I do, guys, to to find these projects above and beyond is where I go. And that's what I like to do. So I want to show you guys, I forgot to show this with you on the Octree here real quick, is this was 
on bogged finance. I really like using this to see some more inside information on liquidity. And so this is showing that Octree liquidity backs 43% of the market cap. That's big. So market cap is at 4.3 million, liquidity at 1.9 million. That means if everybody decided to sell all their Octree tokens at one time, you would get 43% of what you have at the very worst. Versus some of these other projects, even Cake, for example. If I put the Cake token price in here, the liquidity is only backing about 5 maybe if not 5 to 10% of the actual market cap. Okay, so the fact that Octree is sitting at 43% is very, very encouraging because people know they want to lock it in here because there's no reason to not do that because it's just really great value that they're offering. Okay, so that's what I like to do. I like to analyze this as well. So a couple of gems that I came across here lately, one of them is Panther Swap. Now Panther Swap has absolutely exploded. I was fortunate again. Sometimes it's all about timing, guys. It's all about timing, a little bit of luck, and having some patience and some risk to get in these projects and kind of go heavy sometimes. Now looking back, I wish I would have went actually much more heavy into Panther Swap um, because they have some innovative features here on this exchange and their swap. Not only do they have a referral section that actually works, you can actually earn referrals from yield farming. This is the first of its kind. There's been other swaps that try to do this, but they don't actually pay out the referral commission. This works. I've tested it. You don't even have to have anything in the farms if you don't want to. If you send out your link and somebody uses your link and starts farming with it, you're going to get 1%. And it just really helps out. So that's big. Also with their farms, they have harvest lockup. So you can only withdraw your earnings depending on the lockup. So this is every two hours on these ones. These rest of these are eight hours. It's just to help with compounding so it doesn't get compounded into oblivion and just gets too unsustainable. So with Panther Swap, I was able to get in super early. Like I said, I got into this around 20 cents. Now, I decided to put that all in liquidity because I wanted to take advantage of these high interest rates on the farms. Looking back, that probably wasn't the best strategy. Like I said, I'm still learning. I'm still seeing what works and what doesn't. Now, I have made a ton of money with Panther Swap in about three days, and I'm making about $500, $600 a day alone with Panther Swap. And that continues to climb, and my liquidity continues to grow as this liquidity locked continues to grow. So I'm learning, like I said, new strategies and things to do here, but this liquidity right now is at $160 million. That is absolutely huge. We've seen these swaps make a big comeback, Ape Swap, Bakery Swap, and now Panther Swap coming on the scene in literally less than a week, getting 160 million total value locked. I can see this doubling, tripling, even possibly reaching the 1 billion. I don't want to speculate, but I think it could. And what I like about Panther Swap is not only does it have that innovative features, but they are a deflationary token. So every time you buy a Panther token, you put it in liquidity, you remove liquidity, you harvest liquidity you are going to get burned. Some percentage of that token is going to get burned. Very similar to Octree. So I could see Octree becoming like Panther Swap once they get all this stuff launched. They could get 160 million value locked. I can see that happening because they have a very similar ecosystem and it's just taking them a little bit longer because they want to have different things. They want a DEX aggregator. They want different features. But that's why you diversify and you look for these projects early. Now, I wish I had my YouTube channel at the time when I found this gem because I had no idea it would blow up this huge. So, like I said, this has been a blessing. This has really been an amazing, amazing thing, and I'm hoping this continues to grow. So, the, the pools and the farming APRs are very, very enticing. Still enticing to get in, of course. These are very big and hopefully continue to stay sustainable. I think it can, and... Yeah, guys, this is absolutely huge. This other one, Evo DeFi, I've just been crushing it in this space, guys. Just been absolutely crushing it. Got into this when it was on a dip at about $2.50. It's up to $14 now. This was about, I put about 500 bucks, 600 bucks in here. It's now at $3,400. I'm making about $80 a day from Evo DeFi. This has different NFTs. They have monster battles. You can actually grow eggs and breed and battle your monsters. This is like NBA Top Shots with Pokemon combined. Okay, this is absolutely huge. You have yield farming with this as well. You have tons of stuff. They have their own swap. So 
this guys, this, this Binance Smart Chain is absolutely exploding. If you're not in Binance Smart Chain right now, I don't know what you are doing, why you are waiting, why you're just letting all these gains go away from you. It's time to get in this. It is time to do something. And even if you just want to buy some cake and put it over here on Pancake Bunny, this is where I moved all my cake recently. I've been using it on Pancake Bunny, earning about, you know, a little more than half a percent a day off of my cake earning that in bunny and cake, and then I convert my bunny to cake and then continue to compound this. So this has just been absolutely exploding. Also, Marshmallow DeFi, this is another one, Marshmallow Swap, okay? They have their own yield farming and everything, 19 million total value locked. Got into this one at $3. I've been continuing to yield farm from their pools. I started with the Binance coin pool, the wrap BNB. I got in when it was about at four or 5% a day. I was able to make back my deposit fee in a day and now it's just all house money this is just printing free money every single day okay same with the farms here got into this one as well now this one isn't as risk-free because it's their house token but this one i've gotten early enough in the liquidity to do very very well this is what i try to do guys and when i do this i want to share it to you guys on the channel and I find things that other YouTubers and people don't find. You know, a lot of these YouTubers, they just go by what their favorite YouTubers are in. Oh, my favorite YouTuber is in this project. So now I'm going to make a video on it. And it's just a constant. They just can't come up with anything original. They don't know how to look beyond just YouTube and Telegram to find projects. I do. I find tons of projects, guys. Lately, I've been so addicted to finding shit coins that pump. Okay, this is my wallet here that I have connected to PooCoin. This is actually a really good app to use to track prices and to track what's in your wallet. Okay, I find all these gems. Now, do all of them hit? No. Would I make videos on all of these? Probably not. But I do take gambles on them, and they've been doing extremely well. Infinite Divs. Okay, that one took a bit of a hit, but I'm still up. This is all house money with Infinite Divs. I put in one BNB, I've pulled out at least five BNB, and I still have about two BNB and house money in there. Okay, this was up at 10,000 at one point in house money. Okay, they had some issues with some of their dev teams. All right, somebody got sick or something, had some personal issues. I do think they can make a comeback. Okay, but that one I'm hodling. Okay, Hourglass. That one was a bit of a bust. I put about 1,500 in here. It's about down 50%. But that one could be good long term with their staking options. Moonlight. Got into that one about $400. It's up to 700 Saturn V Gold. Got into that one about 2 cents. It's up to 3 cents now. Okay, this other one, Rug, Carpet Masters. Nobody even knows what this is. They don't even have a website, but I got in this one at 50 cents. It's now at $2.30. How am I doing that? How am I finding these gems? Well, why don't you subscribe to this channel and follow along, and maybe one day I'll make a video and share with you guys how you can find these gems. It's not as difficult as you think, and it's not as time-consuming as you think. Like I said, it's all about timing, sometimes a little bit of luck, sometimes a little bit of due diligence, and you can find these projects as well. Okay, so I go through this just constant. Okay, Hokey. I've already, this is all house money on Hokey. I've taken on my initial investment. Moonmaker Protocol as well, taking on my initial investment way beyond. Uh, just, you know, yes, have I gotten rug pulled? Yes, I've gotten rug pulled on a few different projects. Okay, but I've definitely made more than I've been rug pulled on. And these are just the shit coins. This has nothing to do. Look at, this is 22,000 in my wallet. That's not including this cake right here that's not including including my liquidity over here on marshmallow DeFi. it's not including my evo tokens it's not including my panther swap liquidity or my octree so like i said i've turned six hundred dollars in about four months or no, about three months now into about forty thousand okay now i want to continue to grow that to a hundred thousand and even longer than that and even higher so i'm hoping i can but i can have to continue to find these projects early Get in early before the masses. That's how you make money, guys. You don't start buying in Safe Moon right now. You don't buy in Safe Moon right now. You're not buying in on these other moon storms, these other projects that I've already pumped. Okay. If they have something backing them, like Octree, yes, I would still buy an Octree right now and start yield farming. Yes, I would, because they have so much more coming. Would I buy into Panther Swap right now and yield farm? Yes, I would because the percentages are very high and the total value locked has absolutely exploded and they have some different features. Evo DeFi. Yes, I would continue to buy into this one because they have NFTs backing this. They have different things. They have their monster battles. Marshmallow DeFi. Eh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, you know, it's up and down. So I would do what you guys think is best. 
Okay, you have to just sometimes learn on your own. You have to just go through trial and error and see what works and learn from your mistakes and learn from your success and just continue to learn and just see what works better and improve. That's how you make money in crypto. That's how you make money in DeFi. You don't need these centralized platforms, these other fake hype platforms that these other YouTubers get in. You don't need that crap. You can make tons of money in a decentralized way on the Binance Smart Chain without paying huge fees like Ethereum, and you can make tons of crypto, guys, okay? So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I want to make it too long of a video. It was mainly just about Octree here, but I just wanted to share with you guys where I've been. Definitely bookmark this Odyssey channel. Subscribe to it if you want, if you have an Odyssey account. Definitely follow this Telegram. This will be where all the videos get posted, whether it's on YouTube or Odyssey. I'll also post some gems in there if I find some early gems like a Panther Swap, like an Evo DeFi, like a Marshmallow Swap. I will put that in there early if I think we can make money with it. Of course, everything's a risk, guys. Past performance does not equal future results. Everything in crypto is a risk. You have to use risk capital. You have to diversify. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You have to understand that there can be losses and there can be huge gains made. But it's all about risk reward. What are you willing to risk to make that reward? And what are you willing to give up to make tons of money? And so that's what I'm trying to share with you guys here. So if you guys like this content, consider subscribing, hitting that like button. I have tons of value to share with you guys and show you and give you guys the true aspects of this space and these true projects that other YouTubers can definitely not find and definitely would never even share with you guys. I will find them. I will share them and we will make money on them. So if you guys like that, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe for more. Let me know in the comments down below, how has your journey been in DeFi? How's your journey been in the Binance Smart Chain? Let me know down below. I'd be interested to hear about it. Thank you all for your great support. I'm going to continue to grow this channel regardless of the haters, regardless of the trolls. We will rise above them. We will continue to crush this market. We will continue to make tons of crypto and put all these haters to shame and continue to rock this space. So hope you guys have a great day wherever you are. Stay healthy out there. Stay healthy out there. Take care and take charge. And until the next time, we will talk again. Creative Crypto out.